Igama community. A remote village in Opoku local government area of Benue State is now a shadow of itself. It's been nearly 48 hours since the attack by our known gunmen who torched many houses, opened fire on residents, killing 13 of them and leaving many homeless as a result. They are selling at 7 o'clock. They were there over 200. And they had to run to the church first of all. Fortunately, the people weren't in the church and they went we, we rampage from the community, from Hector Skater, from north and south, all, all the broader direction, and made sure they murdered 12. Down it is 12. The Benue State Deputy Governor, Mr. Ben Snabonu, leads a delegation into the community to see firsthand the level of destruction done by the assailants. While condemning the attack, the Deputy Governor urges the federal government to rise up to its primary responsibility. I think what is going on is now intolerable. Something has to happen. And it behoves on the federal government to ensure that we are given a peace of mind and we are given an atmosphere that we can live freely. We are not troublemakers in this country. The Idoma people are not troublemakers, they are peace-loving people. And there is no reason at all why we should be suffering this. The Opoku local government chairman, Mrs. Amina Audu, while lamenting the huge humanitarian crisis created by the grievous attacks, sends some cherry news to the survivors and family of the deceased on the arrest of two of the suspected attackers from eyewitness accounts who say they were about 100 in number. They should keep calm and pray to God. Since government is intervening, we'll see what government will do. Like the story that came to me now is that they have arrested two, uh, two persons from those that uh, have done the killing the among the attackers. The government, I thank the government for their quick intervention. Although the traditional ruler is grateful to the state government for providing them with relief material, he seeks support for his people to defend themselves. Our people are not safe. They have killed about 14 persons from this uh, a gamma attack. I beg them that they should put us together to make sure that we are on ground to defend ourselves. Survivors of the attack, comprising mainly women and children, are currently putting up in the open space of a public primary school in Ojakbo.